Hey everybody, Jacqueline here, and welcome to October 2023, this month for Eight Games, Ageless Thrival Magazine. I've got a band workout for you with using a little ball and a band, and we're going to be doing hit. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you've had a little bit of a warm up. Let's get going. So we're going to start off with a wall squat. And like I said, you've warmed up. So we're going to put the ball just above the small of your back. Come against the wall. Make sure that you keep your body straight, your shoulders are back. And we're going to add our arms. So here we go. One, two, a little tight in here. Three, four, five, six. Your body goes straight up and down. Seven. It's up to you how far back you have your feet, although if you have new knee issues, it's good to have your knees a little bit um, above your ankles, but I have got them going a little bit forward from my ankles. It doesn't hurt me. And I'm gonna say, because my counting while I talk is not all that good, <laughs> I'm gonna say we're at 15. We're gonna hold it here and punch it out. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we're going to come up and we have chest presses. So you're going to have the uh, band wrap around your ribs. And what we're going to do is we're going to press forward. So I've taken it a little bit away from the handles to make it hard enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, press, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now my band is coming down the floor and I'm going to do some toe pops. So that means I'm going to come up on my toe, I'm going to come up, two, reach, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do that all over again. So as you can see, my heart rate's up, the sun is very low, and we have the ocean shining at me. So if I'm squinting a little bit, you'll know why. Core's nice and tight. Here we go. Round two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, hold, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Okay, so let's grab the band again, put it around your upper back, and I'll turn sideways this time. I'm going to push forward and one, two, three. I'm just kicking my glutes. Now what this does is it stretches out the muscles that we've just worked. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I'll throw the band down and I'm going to pop up onto my toes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit of impact is good for you. Of course, if your joints hurt you, you're not going to do the hop. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So now we're going to go on to the second round. So what we're going to do is we're going to do lunge and curl. So we've got our band around one, one foot and what we're going to do is we're going to curl 
lunge and curl. Hips are square. This works your balance. You're stepping on the band, and you go down, curl. Two, three, four, five. You can see how it works your balance. Six, seven. Back toe is forward, front toe is forward. Knees are going straight. Ten, switch legs. I have quite a hard band here, so the intensity matters. And one, two, three, four. Makes you work harder. It's different because it's variable resistance. Eight, nine, ten. So now, heart rate's up, as you can see. We're going to do pullbacks. So what this is, is you're going to put your shoulders back, make the band nice and taut, and pull back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the ball and you're going to do knee drops. So two little versions here. Shoulders are out. You're going to come and alternate knee drive. Kick it. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Higher intensity, you pull your shoulders in and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why the kick? It works your core. As you bring it down, you're bringing it up. You're meeting some resistance. So let's go again. Grab your band. Stand on it. Line yourself up. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Core is tight. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, other side. So we're doing two rounds of everything for time. If you want to add a third round, of course you can. Three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, biceps are burning. Eight, nine, 10. And then for the upper back, we're gonna do some pullbacks. And one, Two, three, four, five. You want to make it more intense? Six. You can always add a squat. Seven, eight, nine. Hundred squats a day. Keeps the doctor away. Twelve. Helps you with your aging. Fifteen. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Ball in hand. And kick it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay. So that's two rounds of that. Now we're going to go to your lateral walks. So, you're going to grab a band, put it underneath both feet, and make sure it's tight. So what I'm going to recommend is three or five steps. Either way, legs are bent. We're going to go times 50. Actually, this program is 20, so it's even. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're back into a lunge. So we're gonna get into our position here. Stand on the band. I'm gonna come up with the mat because I think I'll have more traction. You're standing with the opposite leg on. We're gonna do shoulder raises, shoulders are down the back, 
lunge, raise. Two, three. Alternatively, you could do those, but I like doing this way. Seven, eight. It helps with the mobility in my shoulders. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we're going to go this way. Here we go. I'm going to stand on it so that I have enough range of motion to play with the band a little bit. And down, up, two, three, shoulder girdle in place. So your shoulder is in its pocket. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, you're going to quickly grab your band, make it nice and tight. 90, oh, actually, we're going to do it this way. This is a great way to work on your posture. Your arms are overhead. You've got the same leg forward as arm that you're using. You've got your back. Your band is tight, and you're going to press it over. Two, three, four, five. Make sure it's tight. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and switch sides. So I'm just going to switch the sides, holding on to the band, make it nice and tight here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so back to your lateral walks with the band nice and tight. So getting both legs on, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Back. One, two, three, four. Lunge and press. Opposite leg goes forward. Yes, we're doing a lot of lunges today. They're good for you. Hips are square. And if your knees bother you, you can omit the lunge and just stand up tall. You're still going to be working your balance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So with bands, I am going a little bit faster. It's okay. If I were using weights, I would definitely be going slower. Core is nice and tight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four, Three, two, one. Sometimes it helps to hold your hand there. So we're gonna go right into your triceps. We're gonna take them overhead. And here we go. Leaning slightly forward. One, two, three, four. The beauty of this exercise is that your other hand is reaching behind your back. So it's good for your range of motion. Now, if it hurts your shoulder, you could put it on your hip in the back and it won't be as bad. 15, if you had a shoulder injury. And other side, here we go. Make it as taut as you did on the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so if the cardio is not enough for you here, I'm sweaty, my heart rate's up. It's around 140. I like to be a little higher. So if you want to throw in some intervals, 
where you're doing split lunge jumps, jump, split lunge jumps, or up like this, or jumping jacks. You go right ahead. I'm going to carry on with the program here. You can pause and you can do it again. So now we're on to our last little bit of crunch stuff. So core, we're going to get down on the floor with our great little ball here. And I'm going to try and get out of the sun here. Um, and what we're going to do is start off with our dead bugs, dead bug crunches. So here you're going to put the ball, and this should be difficult. You can put it against your leg and you're going to push against. You're going to go out and in. Level one, you're just touching down. Level two, you're out with a bent leg coming in. Level three, you've got a straight leg. Keep pushing against that leg. These are hard. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch sides. So whichever level you decide to do, tabletop leg, push. One, two, three. Notice how we do these a little slower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five more. Four, three, two, one. So now we're going to put the ball in the small of your back and we're going to do regular crunches. And one, level one is here, level two is here, level three is here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Now we're going to do hip drives, putting the ball between your knees, working your inner thighs, feet are close to your butt, arms are beside you, you can squeeze the ball. Level one, hands are beside you, up and down. Level two, arm your elbows. At level three, arms are up. Squeeze the ball between your knees. And five, four, three, two, hold it here and pulse that ball. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Bring your knees to chest. So, there you have. I'd like you to do that whole round again if you want to and if you have time. That has taken us around 20 minutes, this whole workout. So, I hope you enjoy it. These little balls, you do not blow them up to max, you leave a little bit of space in them so that they have some give. They're a great little tool, not a useless ball, a very useful ball. Have a great day, have a great October, and we will see you in November. Take care everyone, and remember hip training is one of the best ways to go. Bye for now.